Well, it's winter time, kind of bored, so I made a propane powered potato launcher. Now, I had a potato launcher in the past, it worked well. It was aerosol powered, you kind of sprayed right garter, hairspray in the back of it, screwed the cap on, pulled the trigger, and did a pretty good job. But they don't have the power that these propane versions have. Let me show you a little bit about it. Here's the combustion chamber. Four inch PVC. I got a three inch piece right here holding a propane cylinder. I got a magnet in here to hold the cylinder in. This is a one pound cylinder like you'd use for soldering pipes. 90 pounds of pressure in that cylinder. Now I didn't need all that for what I'm doing here so I had to put a regulator on there. I dropped it down to 37 PSI. The propane will come through here at 37 PSI until it reaches this first valve. There's two valves here. Valve 1 and valve 2. In between these valves is a pipe. I call it a metering pipe. The length and the diameter of that pipe will determine how much propane gets dumped into the combustion chamber. So if I open this first valve, now it'll charge this metering pipe right here. So when I shut that one, now I got 37 psi of propane in between this 9 inch pipe right here. That's what I needed to determine to give me the right fuel mixture for this size combustion chamber. When I open the second valve, now the propane will inject inside the combustion chamber. Usually there's a cap screwed on the back here, but I want to show you these internal components. I have a 4 inch computer fan in here, and it's powered by 12 volts, and I have a 3 cell lithium pack in here, which is 12 volt. I made two buttons on the handle here. The first button is to power the fan. The second button is the ignition to launch it. Now when I push down the first button, you can see it powers up the 4 inch fan. Now that mixes the propane and the air inside the combustion chamber and makes it really volatile. Makes it fire quicker. The second button now is for the ignition source and I use a 100,000 volt stun gun. And I took it apart and put the components in this box right here. This little project box from Radio Shack as well as the little battery box here. Let me show you what this will do. Flip the ignition switch on, powers the unit. I made the little electrodes that fit down inside there. Does a pretty good job of is an ignition source. Makes a pretty hot spark and it fires off the propane really well. Let me show you some barrels here. First one here is a two inch barrel. Two inch diameter, 44 inches long. Now you take the potato, smack it down in the barrel. Take this ram right, right here, stick it in there, and you push the potato all the way down in there until she reached the bottom. There's a little screw in here that'll stop it keep it from going too far. There's a little screw right there. Won't let it go down inside the combustion chamber because usually this barrel will be screwed on the combustion chamber for loading the two inch when you just leave it on there. Now the inch and a half inch barrel is 72 and three quarters inches long. The reason these barrels are different lengths is because they have to match the combustion chamber. I have a one and a half to one ratio meaning the combustion chamber is one and a half times the volume of the barrel. Let's say an example here. If I was to fill that combustion chamber full of water, that combustion chamber would hold a gallon and a half of water, as an example. The barrel would only hold a gallon, one and a half to one. These two barrels, believe it or not, would both hold the same amount of water. The two inch requires 44 inches long to hold the gallon. The inch and a half pipe requires 72 and three quarter inches long to hold that gallon of water. Since this inch and a half is so long I had to come up with a different method of loading it. Trying kind of hard to try to have it on the unit and try to ramrod it and you take a heck of a long ramrod too anyway. So I can unscrew this one off the combustion chamber and load this one from the rear. So to make myself, make it easier for me, I uh, 
made myself up a little unit here. I take the potato, I can smack it down in here, then it'll screw on the back of the barrel. Once it's on the back, I've got a little mini ramrod, stick it in here, push the potato down. The potato will end up just inside this barrel right here, ready to go. You can screw that back on the combustion chamber and fire this one off. Come out really well. Let's go out and give her a shot, give her a test fire, see how she does. Alright, now we talked about a little bit. Let's see how she'll do out here. We'll test fire it. Turn the fuel on. Charge the metering pipe. Dump it in the cylinder in the combustion chamber. I'll spin it around here for you can see where she goes. Turn the ignition on. Turn the fan on. Pretty good shot. Works really well.